Women have always been rocking in various fields of sports, be it badminton or racing. But what about Formula One? Questions like, why aren't there any female F1 drivers? Have there been any female F1 drivers? Will we be able to see them anytime soon? Have always been raised. And we have the answers now. Unlike the majority of other sports, motor racing never discriminates against any gender. That might sound cool in principle, but in reality, Formula One has been and will always be male-dominated. Some various patriarchal attitudes and ideals prevented women from being F1 drivers. But Alpine has launched its program to debunk myths about women drivers. And you'll be delighted to know that it finally happened after years. They're putting in their best laudable effort to bring more women into motor racing. If you haven't heard about this, then you definitely should. And for that, you need to stick to the end of the video. If you're new to our channel, you can press the notification bar to gain more updates on various events and sports. Won't keep you waiting. Let's get started. Just ahead of the Formula One British Grand Prix, Alpine has recently launched its new program named Race Her, which will further assist in increasing the number of women in F1 teams. Not only that, but will also help enthusiast women and drivers all over the world to reach the pinnacle of motorsport. The team has announced that this initiative is designed to reinforce meritocracy across genders in all areas of the company, from technical functions to racing and competition. And as far as the racing side of the program is concerned, young girls will be assisted in providing various training and support that will help them to navigate the pathway of motorsports from karting. Not only that, the team said this program will also include the deconstruction of stereotypes using research with the funding of a scientific study to definitely break down all the pseudo scientific alleged hurdles to F1 female competition. Since the starting of the racing championships in the year 1950, only two women have been successful in starting the grid of Formula One with Lombardi being the last woman to start in 1976. Since then, the only woman driver who has participated in the Formula One race over the last few decades was Susie Wolf. It's confirmed that for eight years, race her will keep spanning with supporting women drivers of Formula One as its main aim. Alpine CEO Laurent Rossi claimed to the BBC, we go so far as to think we can influence the way the myths are built, and we want to debunk them. Women are not capable physiologically, mentally. Women shouldn't do that. There are no role models. He continued saying that the idea is, let's take everything from the beginning and make sure we build the path. In the same way, we built the path for men. I'm convinced that in doing so, we multiply the probability of women achieving. Though Alpine aims to debunk the myths about women drivers, it is extending its program beyond the driver's seat. It was announced in March that the W Series driver, Abby Pulling, would be joining the Alpine Academy affiliate program. Pulling also had the opportunity to experience the E20 F1 car in a street demo run in Saudi Arabia after a couple of months. Again in May it was announced that Alice Powell would be coming on board as a talent identification and development mentor in affiliate programs of the Academy. She has been given the responsibility to mentor Abby Pulling. Not only that, but she would also be searching for new female talents. The Academy is giving the same opportunity equally to both males and females. Currently, only 10% of women are working with the BWT Alpine F1 team workforce. The French car manufacturer also decided to increase its workforce, which comprises only 12% women. It is focusing and planning to set a goal of increasing the number to 30% in the next five years. Woo, this is so cool. But wait, there's more of this. They have also planned to invest in STEM. STEM programs that will encourage women to indulge themselves in both technical and scientific fields. The principal of Alpine also commented saying the initiative 
is to make motorsport and specifically Formula One more attractive to females. He also added saying, and we looked around the ratio of females to males in Endstone and we're about 90% males and would like to redress that balance and make it more balanced. And at the same time, start making karting more attractive to young girls so that we can have a greater pool of young girls who want to go karting and see where that brings us in the long run to, you know, having Formula One driver that perhaps are female. As far as timing, the one thing I want to point out, especially for the team, it will remain a meritocracy. We will hire the best engineers that we can. However, from a timing perspective, we are now going out to universities and in our young graduate programs, trying to entice more females to apply for engineering roles. And that's happening now. For all these carry out, Alpine has been refunded by a road car manufacturer. Now we're sure that you already have the idea of the launching of W Series. The FIA Girls on Track initiative, which is all women in 2019. It was a free to enter championship backed by David Coulthard as an effort not only to eliminate the financial barriers, but also to provide equal opportunity as that for men to climb the ladder of Formula One racing. There, Jamie Chadwick was the inaugural champion who became the closest to making the leap to Formula Three, but unfortunately, she didn't succeed. However, she has been leading the series with 100 points and has won four races this season. Just like this, Alpine also decided to initiate the extension of engineering and other disciples within their program. The vice president of human resources at Alpine Cars said that the program was initiated at the same time when they were planning to bring some changes to the Alpine brand. It was built from the idea of finding the best F1 drivers in the best possible cars to achieve world champions. He said, and today we're not exploring the whole pool of talent. We're depriving ourselves of half of humanity because we are not looking enough at women. So that was the starting point of this program. And that's why it concerns engineering talents and also racing talents. And while we were developing this program, we didn't stop any other initiatives, such as what we're doing in W Series with Abby and Alice. One of the most important aspects of this Alpine launched program is to find out the root cause that causes the difference between a man and a woman in a scientific way. This was done to have an impact no matter what it is, positive or negative, that will help them to reach their ultimate potential as women F1 drivers. Plenty of theories have come to the limelight concerning body strength, which plays a role in junior categories where there is no power steering. This is a big pillar for the program, isn't it? Because if we see men are of different kinds with different weights, sizes, and capabilities, it's quite obvious that we all deal with various issues, physical, emotional, and cognitive. It's quite the same way with men and women. And as far as the F1 race is concerned, it is a very complex job and needs lots of effort to master. The launching of the Race Her program has been overall success, but achieving them might be a challenging task. Laurent Rossi, the CEO, said in an interview, here we're talking only about F1, but my perspective is about all jobs, not just driving, because it's a bit of the tip of the iceberg, the visible piece. I'm more concerned about the rest, like women in engineering and women in all other roles with the Alpine team. So the idea is we're going to go out there and find people that are equally as smart, if not more, with cognitive capabilities that are superior to the ones that are already in their positions, because there's no reason why a woman cannot do better. So let's be honest, it can be a very hard task to change society, but nothing is impossible. Little by little, we can change our little bubble in our surroundings and make it an environment that will help bring out more talents. It is a process to make the wrong right. It is not just about this F1, but it applies to all fields of job and not just driving. So we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, share it with your family and friends. Also, hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss an update from our channel. We'll be bringing more videos for you soon. Let us know what excites you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.